Hey y'all, my order for the Melt Nightmare Before Christmas collection is here. I'm excited. I want to get ready with y'all. I want to try this stuff out. I want to swatch everything. Look at this amazing bag. Oh, the packaging is making me so happy. I'm ready to play with makeup. Let's jump into it. <music> I did order this full Nightmare Before Christmas collection from the Melt site and my order is here. I'm so excited. I want to show you close-ups of everything and I want to do just like a try on first impression. I want to use all of this makeup. I have some places to go tonight so we'll kind of get ready together but I want to talk about everything individually, show you close-ups and swatches first. So we'll start first with this really really cool bag. I'm going to try to show you some close-ups of this one because it is a double-sided bag with kind of Jack and Sally represented on both sides. We do have really nice compartments inside with extra zippers, the print on everything inside is super beautiful and the details on the uh, zippers, keychains, yeah, zippers <laughs> are really cute with Jack and Sally and the Melt logo. This bag feels like really, really nice quality. It feels thick. It's got two handles. It does not feel like like a cheapy bag at all. Really super nice. I'm excited. I'm actually going to be traveling soon and I think I'm going to have to carry this bag. So I feel like the kind of most exciting or biggest piece of this collection is the palette. So this is a Halloween Town Shadow palette. The outer box, everything is so cool. And then we have the kind of shifty packaging. Wasn't it terrifying? Just overall so fun. I'm excited to try these shadows on my eyes. I do want to see how everything performs. I want to use the mattes. I want to use the shimmers. I just want to play. I love Melt. I buy a lot of their stuff. I have so many things for Melt. So I feel like I know their formulas pretty well. I want to get a look created with this palette. I really like the yellow and the orange with the kind of teal blues and purples. So I'm not sure what kind of look I want to create. So we're just going to play. I really like this nice big mirror with Halloween Town and all the like decorations on the inside. I think that's super duper cute and I'm not somebody who usually keeps boxes but with this collection I think I'm gonna have to keep these boxes. Okay the thing that I was kind of most excited for is this highlighter. This is the True Love Never Dies Digital Dust Highlight. I really like the digital dust products from Melt. I like the packaging on this one and I really love the Jack and Sally embossing. This looks like a gold champagne to pink to rose gold type of highlighter so we will definitely use this today i really like their digital dust formula i, I think the name is cute true love never dies i just think theming they knocked it out of the park but let's talk about the gel liners i have a lot of gel liners from melt i really like them they stay on the eyes they stay in the waterline but what i reach for the most for is to use as a base for shadows so i'm really excited to have two new shades we do have terrible vision and master of fright one of these is a uh, metal and one of these is a ultra matte. So I don't have shades like this for Melt, so I'm really happy to add these to my collection. I know I'm gonna get use out of these, and I really like these colors. I like the details around the outer like cap, how it has the Nightmare Before Christmas. They, they really paid attention to the details, and I appreciate that. We also have two lipsticks. I am wearing one of the shades today. I'm actually wearing Pumpkin King. We will wear the other at the end of the video because I definitely want to show you both on the lips, but you have to look at this packaging. So, so beautiful. These are the ultra matte lipsticks for Melt. Very cute packaging. I love this kind of clear acrylic component. They did this type of packaging with the Beetlejuice collection and I really really like it but with Beetlejuice it was obviously a different color not orange but I think that packaging is so high quality and I love having it in my collection it feels like a collector's item and it's also 
really good makeup. So last but not least, we have the handheld mirror. If you watch any of my videos, you know I love a handheld mirror. I use one every time I do my makeup and these from Melt are always really high quality. So we have Jack and Sally here and then we do have it print on the mirror too. And it says Nightmare Before Christmas. It has the bats, it has Melt. I can see a lot of thought, a lot of work went into this collection. I am so excited to be playing with the palette. I do have the lip on, but we are gonna use everything else together and we'll swap out the lip for the darker shade later. But I think we should start with our digital dust highlighter. So I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit and we'll play. Okay, so I've zoomed you in a bit so we can put on this digital highlighter, digital dust, right? Digital dust highlighter, yes. I am already wearing my cream blush light in pink sand and I'm also wearing the matte bronzer in Santa Cruz. So let's add a little bit of highlighter now. I am so excited for this packaging. I love the digital dust duos they did that are like in the B packaging. And I'm really looking forward to playing with this. I don't wanna mess up with the embossing, but it seems like it is really in there. So I don't think it's gonna go away soon. And I just need a light hand with highlighter. So I'm gonna take my unearthly brush. I will link everything I can down in the description box. I'm gonna pick that up. On the mirror, it says Nightmare Before Christmas. I'll be your nightmare. We love, we love a detail. So let me put this right here. That's really beautiful. I can see that pinky gold shift and I love a highlighter that's more of a pinky tone. I think it's so beautiful and fun. This is the beautiful formula that I expect from Melt and I think I'm looking really nice and glowy. Oh, I am happy with that. That is looking so great. Let me put a little down my nose and then we'll highlight this other cheek. We're off to a good start. Like I said, I know the melt line really well. So this might be my first time trying this collection, but I do feel like I can speak to if this is the quality from Melt that I expect, things like that. And I know some of these items are available at Sephora, but I ordered the full collection from the Melt website. All right, so here is the highlighter on my skin. I wanna put down an eyeshadow primer. I wanna zoom y'all in and I wanna play with our palette. Look at Uggy Buggy looking so like bad and you know, I'm into it, I'm into it, I'm into it. Packaging alone. Let's see though how the quality of the shadows are. Okay, I am looking forward to dipping my brushes into this beauty. I am going to start with, whoop, I want to start with the mayor right here, this pretty purpley color. Now, when I was looking at this palette when it was first kind of announced, revealed, shown from Melt. I felt like in the photos, some of the tones looked like shades that they've had in their previous palettes. And so I was really interested to get it in my hands and see. And now that I have it, I do feel like the blues are different than blues that they've had in their previous palettes. So I was really pleasantly surprised about that because I was worried. I mean, I was gonna buy it anyways for the theming and I, I get when brands kind of have to, you know, fit a collection around a collab, but I was a little like worried or curious that I was just gonna be buying some repetitive shades to my collection. But now that I actually have it, they are different, especially for somebody like me, a makeup lover who like appreciates little like different details and things. I do feel like these tones are not something I already have from Melt and that makes me happy. So you see, I'm just taking this purple really all in the socket. I'm bringing it pretty far in. I'm bringing it pretty far out. 
I'm not gonna worry about blending in here too, too much because I wanna pull in another shade for that. And I do want to deepen up the outer corner too. So I'm not worried about bringing it too low here. I'm just kind of making sure I have that pigment on where I want it. Okay, I'm loving the way the purple is looking. Listen, I'm a fan of the movie. I love it. I am just in La La Land over the packaging. Like I'm so happy with it. And I was really hoping for the great melt quality. So far, this purple is working great, but I wanna test out a dark shade and see. So I'm gonna go in with this deep, dark purple bone daddy right down here. And hopefully it is good because as much as I love the packaging, I want the makeup to be amazing as well. So I'm gonna start with that right there at the lash line on the lid and just, just that, it was deep and dark. That makes me happy. I'm gonna see how it layers over that lighter purple matte that we put down. So far, so good, no patchiness. And then I'm gonna buff and blend. So this is a brush from the Melt Beetlejuice collection. I really loved that Beetlejuice collection. And I will say I use these brushes all the time. I, usually don't use them in my videos because they are discontinued they don't make them anymore and people get so heated about that so i was very glad with this nightmare before christmas collection that melt did say that this was you know a limited edition collection they announced it you know pretty early so I'm glad that they, you know, made it pretty clear that this wouldn't be around forever so that anybody interested in it would know. I, I had my alarm set. I was ready, ready, ready. Cause I'm like, listen, I'm not missing out. So I definitely set an alarm for this one. And you see how deep that is? Not patchy not having any issues blending, nothing. I'm just chatting with y'all, so I'm taking a little extra time. I'm gonna do some more blending out here, just not yet. So I wanna get that down like that. And then I wanna do maybe some of these blue shades on the lower lash line. And these are the ones that I really was thinking, okay, this might be repetitive for me. I don't have all of the milk palettes, but I was wondering if these were gonna be the same as the Morte palette or the electric palette they came out with this year or maybe the blueprint palette but these are different tones and that makes me really really happy because I was just like I hope I'm not I hope I'm not duping my collection but I, I'm happy to say the, these are different tones I want to use one of these on the lower lash line. So what I think we will do is go in first with this deeper dark shade. This one is called uh, Ooze. And then we will maybe buff it out with a little bit of Shriek. Okay, I've got the shade Ooze. And I'm going to push this onto my lower lash line. I really want this to be nice and pigmented. I want this to not be patchy, not be hard to blend. And so far, so good. That is really making me happy. I'm just pulling this right here under my lower lash line, running back and forth. Yeah, that's a pretty shade. Okay, that is a really pretty shade. And I'm gonna look forward to like packing this all in my crease one day because I'm into that. Okay, I cleaned my brush off of it and now I'm gonna go into that shade Shriek, which is also very pigmented. <laughs> and I'm just using this to kind of buff and blend. So just using a tiny bit of this to give us some dimension under the lower lash line. I'm almost, almost gonna blend them into each other. So it won't be a, a huge like noticeable difference. Like, oh my gosh, there's two shades on the lower lash line. But it's going to just 
give it that little extra something something to have these kind of blended so it goes from like dark close to the lashes and then just kind of fades out. Okay, I'm loving the way the four mattes that we used have performed. I think they're all beautiful. Very happy about that. And I want to add in kind of like a buffing light shade. This would be beautiful. It would be so beautiful. But I want to kind of pull in the blue up here. So I think I'm going to dip into this shade right here, Ragdoll, which, you know, may not, may, may not turn out the best, but I want to use it anyways. I just know that Melt is pigment. <laughs> and they're bringing pigment here. So let's just see, let's start with just a tiny bit of this blue and I'm going to buff it right out here to kind of use as blending, which blues also, depending on your undertone, unless you're a blue like space alien, aren't always like the easiest to use as a transition because our skin isn't blue. But I think with a light hand, this is gonna make the look even more fun to just add this little bit of blue right up here. Like I'm bringing it all the way under the brow bone and I'm using like such a light hand, this big fluffy brush from the Beetlejuice collection that it's not gonna be too, too overpowering, but it's gonna allow us to like buff and be kind of like dark and grungy. Oh, I'm so excited to wear this look out. I'm gonna go back in with the Mayor, the first shade we used, and just to like make sure that in my blending, I didn't lose any of that purpley shade. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, y'all. I have not watched anybody else's video. I haven't read any reviews. I've really been steering clear because I wanted to form my own thoughts and opinions. So I'm not sure. Y'all may be watching this like, yes, Heather, everybody else is feeling the same way. Calm down. I'm just so excited. I'm so happy with this collection and like makeup, honestly. I used to say in all my videos, makeup makes me happy because it's so true. It's my little me time. It's fun. It's like, like a creative outlet. And the way these are performing, whoops, not that one, <laughs> this one. It's just really, really, really kind of what I needed today. I needed this happy, fun, play and makeup Tom. Okay, I, I'm just liking the way those are blending, but I'm so ready to add a shimmer. It's time, it's time. Like, do you see the blend? Like, I'm so happy with this. Over here too, of course, I do have like a little scrape on my eye. I scraped my eye. So it's like, I'm, I'm being a little tender here and I'm trying not to blend so much. So that's why I'm like, here it looks the best here i have like a little i have a little scrape on my eye so i'm, I'm being gentle with myself but I'll, i want to use some shimmer i have to say too i'm so thankful we have dark shades and we have very light shades like pastels from melt yes please deep dark jewel tones from melt sign me up um, I'm loving that this palette has really light shades and really dark shades with the mid tones as well. It's making me happy. I want to use the purple and blue shimmers though. I want to use what, what are they called? Uh, mausoleum and worm's wart. So I am going to pick these up on my brush. I'm going to spray my brush with a little setting spray, makeup mist, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to do both of these on the lid. Okay. So I've got this on my unearthly brush. Oh, Oh, pigment. Beautiful. Listen, I love shimmer. I love metallic. I love shine. I always say I'm like a little raccoon. If something is shiny, I don't care if it's tinfoil. I'm like, shine. <laughs> and 
it definitely is a beautiful pigmented shadow it's giving that metallic finish that I want with the pigment with the shimmer um so into that oh I'm so into that you cannot tell me that is not a beautiful shade as I use my my mirror that's making me happy as well that is pigmented and stunning okay now let's try the blue shimmer okay so I've got mausoleum whoops and I'm going to ah look at that that has some sparkle to it that is very very sparkly that's gorgeous oh yeah I'm so happy with that shade I just listen if there's going to be an IP collab, so a brand and some other type of franchise, I want to see the movie reflected, but I also want the makeup to be usable. I want it to give me beautiful makeup looks. And I'm really happy with this color story from Melt, especially now that I'm like using it, applying having it in my hands thinking of looks because they didn't just do the expected there's no white and there's no black in this palette and i like that i like that because i myself am really into this color story the way the shades are working together the way everything's performing i feel like they brought us the movie like they brought us the movie but they also brought us good makeup that we want to create with at least for myself i'm so pleased oh yeah stop shut the front door stop like i'm so into it but i do want to let's see highlight the inner corner Let's do the yellow. Let's do the yellow. I think I could definitely do a matte inner corner with the baby blue, with the light lavender. I could use the highlighter from this collection, but I really, really want to use this yellow. I think this one is so pretty. Um, this is called Oogie Boogie. So I'm gonna pick it up on my brush, spray my brush. I will link everything. I know I keep saying that. I think I keep saying that, do I? <laughs> I'll link everything I use down below because I am using my unearthly brushes. The melt brushes, of course, are discontinued. Um, but I will I will try. And whatever's available at other retailers, I'll also try to link to those places too. Some of the links in my description box may or may not be affiliated. I know any links for melts are not affiliated. I just like to let you know. But let's take that. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. I feel like with this like more blue teal shades we have right here, this shade is pulling green. So I'm going to actually kind of blend and buff a little bit so that I do get that blend onto those other shades so that it does go from a little bit more of a green tone to that yellowy tone. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That is so fun. Okay, let's do the other eye and then we will use the liners. I, listen, I have so many of these gel liners from Melt because they are great not only as liners but as bases for shadow. So let me find a brush and we'll use these as a liner. Okay, let's do the, what is this? The Metal Bond Gel Liner in the shade Master of Fright. Let's do this on the lower waterline. This is a really pretty coppery color. This has like jack stuff on the cap and I am going to use my melt brush for this and I'm going to just pick up some of this again maybe a new to me shade but definitely not a new to me formula oh uh, it's so hard to do this on camera but I at least wanted to try with y'all because normally I'm like hunched over looking down into a mirror 
so I can already tell I'm going to poke myself in the eye, but we're doing it anyways. I'm doing, doing what I can do. My eye's already a little irritated from messing with it, but you get, you get the gist. You get the gist. Okay, I'm going to do it off camera. All right, for the upper lash line, Terrible Vision Ultra Matte Gel Liner, and it has Sally all on the cap. I really tried to show the packaging as best I can, but some of these details are just, like, it's just so well thought out. So, I am going to do a little, like, line along my top lashes. I'm probably going to end the orange right there because I really want to keep it dark and do like black on the outer portion, but I definitely shopped my stash for my melt stuff because you saw I had on the melt bronzer, the melt blush with the, what lipstick did I say, was it the Pumpkin King lipstick? I used my Melt Caffeine Liner, so I'm going to use my Melt Supernatural Lash Mascara that I've been buying since Beetlejuice launched, and I'm also um, going to use my black liner, the Melt Slick Line Water Pencil. I'll use that out here. I'll probably even look through my stash and put on my Melt Leo Lash, and I want to swap out my lip color for the other lip. And then I will come back and we'll kind of talk about this collection individually. You see what I've thought of things so far, but I want to kind of collect my thoughts, tell you maybe like what I like the most, things like that. Um, and we'll just kind of talk about the collection as a whole because I definitely have some thoughts to share. All right, y'all, here is the completed look. We had to switch up the vibe, you know? I did change my lip color to the Lock, Shock, and Barrel lipstick. I'm feeling the dark lip. This is what I'm gonna wear out today, tonight, because I love this dark, vampy lip with this I look with this makeup look. I love the orange liner. Let's kind of talk about the collection though. So the non-makeup items, the makeup bag. I, I like this, the, the quality of this feels so nice and luxe. I like that we have the nice zipper details, not just on the outside, but the inside. We also have the melt zipper. I like how we have the different compartments. So everything will be nice and secure when I travel. Or if you keep your whole makeup collection in a makeup bag, I feel like you could fit a lot into this and it would be super duper secure. The mirror, I have a few mirrors from Melt. My favorite one that I use most of the time from them is the Beetlejuice mirror. And I use a handheld mirror every time I do my makeup. So I really enjoy having another one that's Nightmare Before Christmas themed. I like the mirror. And I'm gonna put this in my bag because like I said, I'm getting to travel next week. I'm very excited about that. So I'm, I'm definitely going to use this. So looking at the collection as a whole, me, myself, and I, I'm very happy that I bought it all. I'm happy I bought the full collection because I will use this a lot. I know I will use these lipsticks. These are cute. And going into fall, having a dark vampy lip like this, having a nice orangey brown type of shade, I will use. I mean, I love makeup. I wear makeup. So I'm looking forward to using these things a lot more. The liners, I think this orange contrast with what we have going on the eyes is so fun. I love that they did these colors with the palette. I, I just feel like it's, it's like, I, I don't know, it's so fun. These will also be beautiful with that orangey toned shadow from the palette, but I feel like with what I have on today, it's just giving me such a contrast and I'm so here for it. Like I just feel like my makeup screams fun Nightmare Before Christmas vibes. 
I'm feeling myself. I'm sure y'all can tell, <laughs> but I'm happy I bought both of these. Now, I think the thing that feels maybe the most luxe and the most special, the most like collector-esque in this collection is the Digital Dust Highlighter. I think this box is so cool and beautiful. You get Jack and Sally on the box. Even the sides of the box are decorated. Like there was no detail skipped with this collection. The beautiful orange acrylic packaging with Jack and Sally and the print on the mirror and the print in the pan. I, I just think if you're looking maybe for one piece that you're like, I, I love the movie. I don't want to buy it all, but I want something. I think this like it, it captures a lot. The highlight is beautiful on the skin. I'm really loving this. Again, for me, myself and I, I'm happy I bought all of it. I will use it all. I can honestly say I'm loving everything. But you know, if you just want, if you're like, I want to just buy one thing that kind of encapsulates it. I, I like this. Now the palette you saw. I didn't use all the shades. I used almost all of the shades. I think this is the amazing melt quality. I know with melt, sometimes it can be hit or miss, but overall, I really love the brand. And this is the amazing melt quality that I expect. This, again, the palette just screams fun. I put it back in the box because I'm, I'm normally not that person who keeps the boxes to their makeup. I'm not that, I'm not that girl, but for this, like you see this detail, how could I not, how could I not with the Halloween Town palette? Everything performed beautifully. I'm really looking forward to using this collection more. Ah, uh, gosh, I love this look. I love this eye look. I love the shadows. I love the liner. I love the lip, the highlight. I am just so happy that I spent my money on something that I really enjoy. That makes me happy because I spent a good chunk of money, you know, like Melt is an indie brand, meaning they are independently owned. They are not owned by a large parent company. I love supporting independently owned brands. I love supporting women owned brands like Melt. And you know, they are at that high end or even a little above high end price point. So I'm happy that I spent my money not just on super fun quality packaging, but the makeup inside is also really great quality and something I'm going to use a ton. So I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you're on a low buy or no buy, remember my videos are never here to convince you to buy anything. Maybe you can stop your stash, create this look. Maybe you're not into makeup. You're just here to hang out, have fun. Maybe you were curious. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you were thinking about picking this collection up or maybe just a piece of it, maybe my thoughts, opinions, demos, helped you out a little bit. I just love talking about makeup. I love playing with makeup. So I really hope that you enjoyed watching. Please do subscribe. I have so many videos coming. I already upload almost every day, sometimes every day. So definitely subscribe if you don't want to miss out. I will be following up my thoughts after I've played with this more. So I will see y'all very soon in another one. Bye. Thank you.